Welcome to Happily Ever Aftermath, the podcast where we discuss relationships in movies and our relationships with them. I'm Polina Grinbaum. And I'm Diana Rojek Sconner. Hi, Polina here. Just a word before we start. We recorded this podcast over a month ago before the recent wave of discussions around suicide, which was prompted in part by the recent deaths of the beloved Anthony Bedrain and Kate Spade. Heathers is a dark comedy that uses suicide as a vehicle for some of its humor. And in light of recent events, some of our comments might come off as a bit flippant. So if you, like Dan and I, are currently processing some of these issues, we would totally understand if you want to save this episode for a later date or skip it altogether. If not, enjoy Heathers. Hello, Dan. Hey there. How are you? I'm doing okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's here we are taping again. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, so uh, today we're discussing Heather's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's it, no funny song. I tried. I just couldn't do it. Oh, well, there's a musical. So they, there is a musical. The job's been done. Oh, that's. Oh, thank God. Okay. Being, that's yeah. one. One. Cross that off my to do list. And you know, I hate musicals, so I'm not going to sing that. That's a good point. Okay. So we've dodged a bullet. Mm. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I saw your cocktail and I raised you, you know, some murder. <laughs> well, to be fair, and there is a, a suicide. That is true. And a rather bloody one. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty gross. Um, yeah. So, uh, yes, last episode we talked about uh, cocktail. If you're interested, please look it up. But this is about this episode. It is. And this is about um, 1988's Heathers. Mm-hmm. Um, which, uh, you know, was, was not, not a very successful movie at the time, but has since become a cult favorite and of, especially of people of, uh, my time. I saw this in the theater. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so, uh, Winona, uh, Winona. Okay. Let me start over. Veronica played by Winona Ryder is part of the most popular clique at her high school, but she disapproves of the other girl's cruel behavior. When Veronica and her new boyfriend, JD, played by Christian Slater, uh, confront uh, clique, le- clique, clique? Re- leader Heather Chandler, played by Kim Walker, and accidentally poisons her, uh, they make it appear a suicide. Uh, by the way, accidentally, really should be in quotes. Uh, soon, Veronica realizes that in JD is intentionally killing students he does not like. She races to stop uh, JD while also clashing with the clique's new leader, Heather Duke. Actually, I'm sorry. This came out, this actually re- got, was released in 1989. Mm-hmm. I thought that was true. Just sorry. Yep. Misread. Um, so this was probably like the first big big quote-unquote uh, breakthrough of Winona Ryder and Christian Slater uh based off of because I did love me some Beetlejuice did, he, yes but I think Be- Beetlejuice might have been after Be- Beetlejuice she was like half the oh, height that's true yeah like, but she was only in like two movies before then but anyway she was a youngin that's fine let's like figure that well, out no, that's okay. I'm gonna let you uh figure that out while I uh talk about uh well, my history with this movie which is fairly common um I saw it in theaters uh mm-hmm. I was Probably, you know, uh, 16 or so um, around then. And I think uh, for me, like, I was at that point of, like, everything is kind of – kind of BS and it's all like, you know, we're the weird kids and, uh, you know, um, the usual, like, cliques in high school – and I, so that's like everyone I know saw that movie, like all my friends, we quote from this movie. I have to, li- I probably once a week, I have to stop myself from saying, What's your damage, Heather? Oh. Because, and then p- I worry people look at me funny. You actually say Heather? Yeah. Okay. What's your damage, Heather? You can just say, What's your damage? No, 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 because then it's, then it's a different thing. It's aggressive when you say, What's your damage? But if you say, What's your damage, Heather? That was sort of a way of being like, Hey, what's going on? You're being a bit, a bit stroppy. Like, what's happening here? That's the that's the the. If you say what's your damage, then you're basically saying what's your damage. But if you're referencing the movie, well, and well, when you had a pause when you said Christian Slater, I was going to say drool much. Oh my God, Christian Slater, such a crush on Christian Slater at this point. Also this from the movie, but okay. also from the movie. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Should I said God, Veronica, drool much? Yeah. <laughs> Would that have been better? Much better. Okay. There you go. Now you understand. His name's Jason Dean. Jason Dean. Oh, anyway. So um, I think I, uh, I also like, uh, I totally, I, Winona Ryder was definitely one of those people I like to be. I found out that she, at the time, I found out that she um, auditioned for not this movie, but another movie by reading um, J.D. Salinger's Franny and Zooey. Mm-hmm. From, um, uh, and I like also really like that book. And so I, uh, I just thought that was like the coolest thing ever. Mm-hmm. Um, for the record, uh, she was in... Four other movies before this, one the aforementioned Beetlejuice. Oh, God, that was, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I, I totally know. forgot. And that was another movie I was super into. Like, we used to, my friend and I watched that over and over again. Well, they came this out is this definitely one of those movies all my friends well, watched. Well, according to this, um, according to IMDb, Heathers came out in 88, Beetlejuice came out in 88. So they're, that's kind I of think interesting. That's maybe they're just close. Because this, this yeah. movie technically was released in 1989. Well, yeah. And then yeah, also March, she's in this movie does. called 1969, not to make it yeah. much more confusing. I only saw that later. I didn't see that. Um, I saw there apparently Square Dance and one that I have seen, Lucas. Mm. Yes. But I think that I hadn't seen up. Square Dance. But I had seen Beetlejuice. And, but I'm not 100% sure I saw Beetlejuice in the theater. So actually, I may have seen it after. I'm not 100% sure. But that was a movie I watched over and over again as mm-hmm. well. Um, and uh, But yeah, uh, another common um, throughout my teenage years was uh, was F Me Gently with a Chainsaw. Off also. So anyway, this was like you a big movie. You tag. You can say it if you want to. Can I? No. You don't want to? Yeah, still it, still, it still doesn't feel still right. It still feels weird. It feels funny. Um, Do I like Mother, like Mother Teresa to you? Yeah, I love that. I also like Veronica. You look like hell. Yeah, I just got back. <laughs> just like a lot of it was great. So, um, I I I realize this isn't a romance as such, but I kind of wanted to <laughs> flip the switch a li- like flip the script a little bit. Um, I think one of the things that um, you know, watching this movie, it, uh, you know sort of reminded me more of high school than I like wanted to remember. Well, if I, if I may defend your choice, you know, in the Mm -hmm. whole romance category, how many of us have had the Insta infatuation and the fact that in this movie it's reciprocated. It's just, well, if that had ever happened, I don't know. I think my head would have exploded, you know? (laughs) So where I have the, you know, the can't hardly wait. Yeah. Angst. Um, unrequited Mm -hmm. this is the yeah we have we so this is also what's really rough about high school they Mm -hmm. bonded over a similar hatred yes exactly so how much of high school is bonding over i have i had friendships that all of it were created out of a bond of a similar hatred be it people or things and and those friendships did not last because they did not have a solid foundation of no (laughs) because then you stop hating those things or you stop caring so much about those things or you stop hating (laughs) they're just just period full stop you realize that life is too short to keep hating things yes yes and that maybe you should like start enjoying things or ignoring things or yeah because otherwise then you're you know you get into your 30s your blood pressure is too high and then you need to you know take a sabbatical life lessons i mean i needed to take a sabbatical but i didn't yeah. At least not the first time. Yeah. How many breakdowns have you had? Um, let's cut. Let's maybe that could be that like could be week? like a special. Oh, this week. Oh, yeah. This week. Uh, you know, I'm probably on my. I don't know. Two. I'm two. Gonna go two. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, we have something in common. We both had two breakdowns this week. Two for Tuesday. Yay. <laughs> so Heather's. Heather's. Um, mm-hmm. So speaking of breakdowns, so I what I think I, uh, you know, I think. What I remember liking about this movie, Mm -hmm. um, you know, through the dim lens of time, uh, was the whole, like, I mean, obviously Christian Slater. Drill much? Um, (laughs) Shut up, Veronica. Um, uh, We, what I, I, like, the the kind of the, the, the sort of, you know, F you to society part of it, but and the you know high school popular kids part of it, but I think what I re- but now rewatching it I remember what I really liked which was that I had at this point had gone through a few you know um, if we really call them relationships as such but I had a few like you know 
mess ups, I guess, really. Are you and talking now or are you talking when you watched it? No, no, it? when I watched it. And so in by the theater? then. Like back then? In the or theater. No. Okay. In the okay. theater. Because you talked about the lens of now. Yeah. But you're talking about. Like the, you're what I remember, like when, if somebody asked me before I rewatch this movie, like somebody said last week, what do you rem like, remember, uh, like, liking about the movie i would have been like the the very satisfying revenge fantasy part of it sure but um and christian slater okay. um whereas i would say what do you remember about the movie heathers oh fuck those bitches <laughs> <laughs> and the lines yeah uh i uh i think that re-watching it and you know thinking of myself re-watching it mm -hmm. uh to give myself then uh I was like, oh, I kind of liked this idea that, you know, I like because I think when you're like when you're younger, like your crushes kind of control you, and these like even the huh. briefest of kind of relation like quote unquote relationships that you have are like are so overwhelming and and controlling. And this to me, the uh, other part of the fantasy was the like like being able to tear myself like the ability to tear myself away mm -hmm. and not be influenced and uh, st and stop seeing myself through somebody else's eyes. I was just like, I wasn't able to do that. Holy crap. Once again, talking about you have a crush on somebody, you find yourself like adjusting yourself to get their attention. If you're already in that relationship with that person, you just find yourself just like three steps beyond that because now you have intimate access of what they want. Yeah. Even more importantly. Totally. So instead of just a kind of a creepy one man, you know, reconnaissance mission of trying to get it right. <laughs> instead of just like, tell me more. <laughs> okay. I will be that now. <laughs> yeah. Like music and, and, you know, and a common hatred. Like there's yeah. so much common hatred. A common hatred. I think I remember when I was first uh, trying to catch mm -hmm. Ryan's attention. Mm -hmm. It's more along the lines of just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm too cool. <laughs> no because like, i tried that but it was really a mask for like oh my god i have so many feelings and it's all so overwhelming and i can't stand next to you without exploding i can't stand next to you without exploding that's why it would be like small interactions just like yeah we watch these movies i rattle on about all of this knowledge that i have about totally awesome movies and then i i go home and just replay the whole night in my head make mm -hmm. sure i didn't say the wrong thing oh my god so many nights of replaying mm -hmm. but what did that mean when he said oh my yeah. god yeah, when he said, yeah, what does that mean? Did what he mean, mean, yeah, or did he mean, yeah? And then there's the, like, obsessive dissection with friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh okay. So I mean, I still do that, actually. I just realized that I had, like, an obsessive dissection of a friend of mine's email with... But but here's something that's so, kind of funny. Oh, man. When, like, you <laughs> that's and, depressing. Well, you and me right now... Okay, so in the movie, you've got people... So there's... Okay, so Heather number one, dead... You know, the, the suicide whole mm -hmm. thing that was yeah. actually murder. And then you've got, you know, the other Heather, you know, played by Shannon Doherty, mm -hmm. Heather Duke, you know, just slowly mm -hmm. rising to take over. You know, you chop the head off of one and then another one will grow in its place. And she's basically taking over the reins of just squashing Heather McNamara, the cheerleader, because it's just the way to assert your dominance. And it's just so easy. In fact, you know, she... You that's know, what she sees as power. Like, oh, yeah. That's, I mean, it's, it's actually like... It's darker than I remember. I mean, I remember it being dark, but it kind of, a lot of people who criticize this movie. Yeah. Oh, there's, well, there's two types of dark, but go ahead. Yeah. So basically go, oh, instance. it wasn't like dark enough because mm. it ends well. But I was like, this is actually fairly, this is like, I mean, it's a farce. It's obviously a farce. I just want to say it is a farce. This is not a realistic movie. Everything's you know, in Technicolor, but it's... What's rough is that it is is an, and it isn't, especially when... There's a more realness in it than mm -hmm. there should be. Well, I mean, not should be, actually. I think it's good. Right, but also, I have to also color it in the... I grew up in California, and I was mm. terrified of those, you know, bitchy girls that oh, are yeah. eventually no, going I mean, to be had... in high school and the, the jocks that are going to beat up on people just because. Yeah. And I was terrified of that. In oh, fact, yeah. one of my earliest memories is being terrified of being stuffed in a locker. Oh, Be yeah. Because I Cause you saw these movies. I saw, specifically Lean On Me, I yeah. saw somebody getting oh, locked yeah. in, a, in, a, in a locker over, you know, just like, and you just hear the thumping and the thumping. And thank God when I got to junior high, the lockers, well, they, they couldn't give you lockers that big because they didn't have the space or the money for it. Mm -hmm. So they had the, the half lockers. Oh, the half. Yeah, we had yeah. half. We had lockers you could not actually stick anyone into. Yeah. Like that was a Calif that was a weird, wide, you know, that's sure. what I imagine. But actually, um, 
we had one of the high school, like uh, at one point, I, I moved around a lot when I was a kid okay. before, uh, right before high school. Oh, that's funny. So that was the other thing that I mm -hmm. really, like Christian Slayer was like, oh my God, that's exactly how it feels to be the new kid, except, you know, I was, this is before high school. But we, um, and I think yeah, that, that was the other to be the, the new kid thing. and good looking. That's different. Yes. Yes. It is different. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. So <laughs> I can't have breakdown number three. It's only two, it's two no. for Tuesday. We can't have yeah. a third, third one. Um, no, Thursday, three for Thursday. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, yes, join me for, uh, our therapy podcast. We re revisit our actual childhood and not just the childhood movies. Um, no, okay. Different. So, uh, we, so I, we went to, um, one of the, uh, junior highs I went to, it was the, the one I eventually went to high school in. We, it was, they were all in one building. Mm -hmm. So we just had different. Like we had a different schedule, mm -hmm. but you saw in a different section, but okay. you saw all the high schoolers and it was terrifying. And we didn't walk the halls at the same time, but every now and again, you would like go to the bathroom during when they would switch classes. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, Shh. so I was afraid of that too. Oh well, yeah. That you were how old surrounded by people, how many years older than you? Just like a few years, but it's terrifying. No, I mean, that's, that's those are I was formative 16. years. Yeah, that's the thing. There's such a huge difference. It's anyway, growing. but um, but okay. So before we go on in that vein, I am super curious. What we have not talked about this. Like, what's your oh me? What are you? What's your what's your relationship? How was it watching it? Was this the first time? What no, went on? No. No, this this found it, I I watched this early and often. I remember having a VH copy of it, and also getting the DVD when you know your formats change. You got to upgrade oh, yeah. accordingly. Of course. I, I so I think I only had this on VHS. Well, I definitely and it may have been a yeah. This was definitely taped. a taped off of edited cable for me. I was okay. I was so glad because I like started. Sometimes I watch them yeah. movies and I think. Oh, she probably watched the edited version. <laughs> Originally, yes. Yeah. Because you watch it all the times so that you do and then and then Because it was on a lot. I mean this was kind a of a lot. Yeah, this was one of those. I mean, come on, that that is somebody's like master thesis out there. How many copy you know, how many movies catapulted into eventual uh success because of the fact that the cable rights were so cheap. And then and then put it on repeat. Oh on, totally, on yes. Yeah. And I remember even like um, going over people's like when I was in uh, like in my twenties, mm -hmm. going over people's houses who had like cable or whatever, and mm -hmm. you know, drunkenly watching or you know this movie like oh let's just pop it on and have it on in the background yeah. and then you like say all the you know on lines. when I'm cleaning type of thing. Yeah, like, my room was small, but I cleaned it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a TV in your room? I with, did. Like, oh, I was you did with a only... little VHS. Was it one of those the wall in one? The, no, yeah, the, the connected ones <laughs> oh, with the VHS and plotting, but. I kept it, and I was also able to plug it in and have the DVD player on the top when I was... Oh, so you, like, recorded. You did the recording. Um, I did have the double VHS thing going on, too, mm. but not that way. No, it's just, like, I would have the the DVD player when I was watching that, and then I had the VHSs when I switched. My parents still have some of those VHSs. My father, when at some point when my husband and I moved, we, uh, we got rid of... Uh, we decided to get rid of our VHS player because mm -hmm. we're like, we don't actually want to own these things. We're starting to become, we had Netflix, you know, sure. it's like, okay, but it's, we had it's some still DVD not a player. Replacement, but yeah. yeah. But I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. Like I don't actually, you know, watch these movies. I'm not a, like re that much of a rewatcher and neither was my husband. Mm -hmm. And, and the, and, and also like VHS is a terrible format. Like, like my, f and so I was home. I mean, it's just like the blacks are awful. Oh, there's no contrast. It's impossible to watch like a movie that you want, like a beautiful movie on VHS. Like it's just painful. It like degrades very quickly. Um, uh, I have a video production minor. Um, uh, I uh, don't understand why it won over, why it lost over beta where the blacks are rich and it's... crisp. And so DV I was like, this is awesome. But the thing is my father collects VHS tapes and he was, I remember I was visiting him, at, I was visiting them at some point and he's tried to give me a VHS copy of the of Kurosawa's Ron, which is a beautiful movie that should never, ever, ever be seen on VHS. Spell that. 
R A N. Okay, thank you. Um, I was about to say, are you? Is that how they pronounce Ronin? No, because <laughs> first of all, it's not. Have you ever seen it? No, it's, it's also not so Kurosawa. Good. That's a Sean Bean movie later in life. <laughs> <laughs> That's based off of something else. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, anyway, um, uh, yeah, my that's my one of my father's favorite that's movies. That's right. So I we watched a Sean it over Bean again. movie. Go on. <laughs> hey, you can reference Sean Bean anytime. I just had a moment. Uh-huh. I love Sean Bean. I love Sean Bean. Um, I'm still traumatized by just by Franken by the season one of Frankenstein, but that's okay. Um, we uh, hmm. why 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 did you Frankenstein him? Um, I uh, so I. My anyway, so my dad's like really angry. My dad kind of gets irrationally upset about strange things. Um, hi, dad. No, not not the TV show Stranger Things. Uh, also no, an owner no, writer. he doesn't seem to have a lot of feelings. But I, uh, I haven't seen it. So not a word. Oh, not a word. Oh, not a word. Oh, not a word. oh, 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 you should. Not but, a word. Um, no, I'm working on it. It's okay. Take your time. No, it's, we're living the golden age of television. It's a lot of work. That's why I'm taking my time. Yeah, take the take your time. I want to get through Brooklyn and I Nine first interesting because they canceled it and then they uncanceled it i heard that yeah i actually w- liked the first couple episodes but again i like i was like oh i can't buy so many other things anyway i really enjoyed pop star so i think i'd, I'd enjoy andy samberg in a television format i i actually really enjoy yeah really, really enjoyed good. that movie okay so I, tangent um wow that was like a really <laughs> <laughs> let's okay so seminal work of uh cult, no um yeah, so oh, my sorry. dad's super mad at me about like the fact that we uh, gave up our VHS player. But you know what? We've never looked back. No. Really. No, never no. looked back. But let's now go even a step further behind my relationship with Heather's. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so not your relationship with VHS players. No, so I just def- your relationship with I think I've, I think you could take snippets of what I've talked about VHS and make it a podcast. Uh, um, probably. Yeah. An entire podcast episode. So okay, so I watched this movie. I watched it a lot. So I have the not edited version in my brain Mm -hmm. as well. And it's kind of rough. But, you know, so many parts of it I did watch. But when I did watch it all the time, when it was on TV, Heather was already dead by the time Uh. I got to it. (laughs) So I'm just like, oh, hey, Heather's is on. And it's like the funeral already. And I always just remember the Shannon Doherty. She's like, I always prayed for the death of Heather Chandler. And I always felt really bad when I did it. But I kept doing it. Now I knew you understood everything. Yeah. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Alleluia. I have to say, the funeral scene, Heather's, the both funeral scenes. Mm. So at one, so uh, if you have not seen this movie, uh, basically, Sorry. I mean, we just. Yeah, it doesn't it, matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But essentially, there is the, uh, there is the, uh, the, the titular Heather. The titular Heather, which we call, which we'll call Alpha Heather. Yeah. Um, we have Heather played by Shannon Doherty, which we will call, which we will Br- call. Brunette Do- Heather. Or Doherty. I'm just going to call her Doherty Heather. Go ahead. Just Doherty. Heather and then Duke. we have, we have cheer Heather, cheerleader Heather. Heather McNamara. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, essentially, uh, uh, this new kid comes to school and. Oh, uh, Ver- and Veronica. And Veronica. Yeah. Veronica is. Uh, has like clearly worked very hard to get into this popular clique. And at one point she says a great line. She says, they're like, they're just like people I work with, except our jobs are being popular and stuff or and, shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and she actually, that's, has, that's for you. That was a translation for the television. And version. she has a genius level IQ, yes. which is mentioned. So it's kind of interesting that she decided that this is where she wanted to put, she wants to be well adjusted and yeah. look what happens when you try to be well adjusted. You end up just as yeah. pretty messed up. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And, uh, and I think, so he, and, uh, so he comes and basically in, like they bond over their hatred of, uh, of the popular kids or just in general, the kind of BS of high school. And, and in addition to that, just watching the cruel behavior. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing where they're mean to each other, but they're yeah. also mean they're to the, so mean to the other just people, everyone to everyone. It's, it's like, it's equal opportunity. Yeah. Even the people who are friends and the kind of goal is to, mm-hmm. to like, it's, yeah, it's that way of maintaining the social order. Right. At which the social hierarchy and which they are, they see it as a social order. It's fear based. Yeah, and fear based so, power. Yeah, which is like you know high school, um, and other 
and political some other things. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. We say, uh, yes, here we are recording this podcast in 2018. Um, fascinating. Um, so we are, um, uh, so the movie, uh, at one point, they uh, basically, st- uh, he, he kind of half tricks uh, her into, uh, so the scene, so Jason just, Dean tr- basically tricks her into mur- like murdering two, uh, three, three, sort of two two individual murders that then that that then they cover up as suicides. The first, it's it's an accidental trick, yeah, where it's not quite accidental. Like she, no, it's, it's I mean it is it's accidental on her part. Yes. It's not accidental on his part. So there's a party where Veronica and Heather are there. It's it's mm-hmm. really bad. Let's just say it involves college and date rape and mm-hmm. just basically like what the hell Veronica you I bring you to this college party and you don't even go down on a guy what's what's wrong yeah. with you I'm totally going to destroy you because she stands up to her and it's basically her reputation's going to be ruined because when Heather's done with her it doesn't matter what happens well she she's vomits get... she vomits no that's like the big the, thing it's the vo- it isn't so much the vomiting which doesn't help but I think it's ultimately the fact that Veronica said screw all this I'm mm-hmm. officially done with it yeah like I'm not I'm not playing this game. Whereas, yeah. and the other thing is that she basically says, to, so Veronica, what kind of starts this is Veronica says to Heather, I like it up. <laughs> well, but she, Veronica's like, I need to go. Like I'm sick. Mm. I'm not feeling well mm-hmm. because she basically is drinking something that she thinks is like not as strong as it is. Cause at one point you see it like light on fire. Right. She accidentally, dr- she thinks like, I, I think that that's too yeah. much. Into it. I just think she was just drinking too much. Well, that's general. what I'm saying. Like, I don't think she planned to drink too much, but the drink was too strong. Cause I like, like the- you see the fire thing, you know, they like, like drops that, of flame. I think, I think it was meant to be beer, but they were yeah, overgoing the, the whole beer is that flammable situation. Well, no, no. You think, beer is not flammable. No, that's my point. I think the, the movie decided to run with it. I don't think there was No, a, no. I think it was that it was spiked beer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the only thing I didn't that, take it that way. That like, because that was like a comment that we were, I went to high school in a college town and I'm putting like. But she was lucid enough to know to get the hell out of the situation. When he was trying to pretty much just yeah, but yeah. she was clearly drunk, as you see her kind of. I don't think she's clearly drunk. I think she's just drunk. Um, but but yeah, she was lucid enough to get out of the situation. Good. Mm-hmm. So, but she even she, had a speech planned. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. She's like, I have a speech for guys like you. Anyway, um, so he um. I was and talking and to JD she right asks, now. sorry. So she, so Veronica asks Heather. She asks him like, or she, she sorry, her. <laughs> she asks Heather. Um, like, please, I just want to go home. Like, I really need to go home. I'm going to throw up. And she, and instead of being like, oh, are you okay? Or She's, like, she was like, was like, you're ruining my night. Like, you better, I heard that you wouldn't go down on this guy. And then she vomits. And that's what the story she tells the entire school. Well, she's, well. Because she's mad at her. Well, truthfully, I don't think it matters what story Heather tells, be it throwing up or not. Yeah. And I imagine it won't have anything to do with the fact that she didn't do what she was going to with the guy. If anything, it's just going to be like whatever rumor she wanted to Well, spread. she wasn't cool. Like, oh, yeah, like no, she didn't play the rules, right? The rules cool. are, I mean, she, I don't mean cool as in Air hip. Quotes. I mean, I mean, I don't mean cool as in hip. I mean, like, no, I know. I'd like chill. Well, she, she wasn't playing along. Well, no, like going with the whole rules thing. It's just like, yeah. this is what I have to do. So therefore you need to as well. Yeah. Well, no, isn't that what it really goes? Come on, baby. I thought you were cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That kind of cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, but 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 the whole so, situation. So she is... realizes, like, okay, there is again. This is not my friend. Of course not. We knew this. Yeah, but but there must have been something there. No, where... it's popularity, strictly one hundred percent. Yeah, I don't know though, because she had this that picture of of them of the two of them in her locker, like. Maybe How is really the romance is between Heather and Veronica. No, you're pushing it. <laughs> no. I don't mean like a sexual romance. I mean just like a the love story. Well, interesting point that you bring up that picture of them, the the photo strip. Mm-hmm. Um, that's your social media. It's look at us being friends together, click, 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 mm-hmm. and it's being displayed. But mm-hmm. they didn't like each other. In fact, if you really looked at it, you... Heather... But she didn't like... I mean, they didn't like each other. They didn't like None each other. of them liked each other. But they all, like, knew each other from... They grew up together. I don't know if that's... That's that's kind of true. I don't know about that. Yeah. 
So, and it's also really hard to tell because are they all juniors? Yeah, they all say, I'm, but well, I'm only a junior. She's only a junior. I'm wondering if they're all I juniors. I would assume they were all juniors. They're only in the same classes. I don't know. Not really sure. They never really mention it. And I think like at the time, I mm -hmm. don't know. Hard to tell. It was hard to tell. Yeah. I'm going to go with yes. Okay. Um, well, okay. So the whole idea is that there is this incident. Uh, Veronica bolts from there. Uh, she's so angry. She's writing in her journal. And mm -hmm. then uh, Christian Slater, JD, appears and they they have a moment together where it's just like you know you know bam they're having sex <laughs> i can't even remember what the conversation is but bam they're having sex oh the they were they uh they there was so much sexual tension earlier yeah but they were they they played strip croquet croquet yeah that's which i thought was like the coolest thing well her reaction to that was well that it's a little bit classier than just Boning on the yeah. neighbor's swing set. Exactly. Yeah. So that's where that happened. And she just makes this casual. It's at her house. I mean, uh, outside backyard. in her backyard. No, I don't think that matters. <laughs> just, but, you know, adding local color. She wasn't on her neighbor's swing set. Uh, the whole idea is she said just once she'd like to see Heather puke. You know? Yeah. And, and so that's what they go to. That's her. why the puking thing is kind of important. She's like, oh, yeah, well, you puke too. Well, even so, I mean, I still believe that you tell a story you want to tell him because Heather has the power. Yeah. And she, you know what, even worse? It, I'll, okay. So the whole idea is, is that they decide to put her a hangover cure that's going to make her throw up so they can tell the story that, mm -hmm. you know, oh, I threw up, she threw up too. It doesn't matter. Um, but ultimately, JD's got other ideas, i.e., you know, liquid drain cleaner yeah. in a cup and everything. She's like, what are you nuts? That'll kill her. Mm -hmm. And so he's, you know, kind of pushing it and pushing it. She's like, no, 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 let's just do this. And then he kisses her one last time and she grabs the wrong cup. So yep. there's the accident on her part. But he notices, but he doesn't say yeah, anything. Yeah, exactly. In fact, he even and says, she doesn't really look. No, well, no, she doesn't because he even says, let, let me carry that. They put a, no, they, he says, let oh, me carry I that forgot. for you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's the one that hands it to her. And and that is the one with the lid. Yes. So if any, Which is the other thing that she's like, I'm like, you're not being very careful because there's one with the lid, which is not, not drain cleaner. Well, she's also one, not. one hungover, two, two. Uh, distracted by boyfriend. Yes. And, and three, hell bent on revenge. That's going to be hilarious. Yeah. So... Um, they get her to drink it. She smashes through a coffee table. And what you were talking before about, you know, whether or not they really like each other, that line, you know, mm -hmm. oh my God, I just killed my best friend and your worst enemy. Yeah. Same difference. Yeah. So it's just there. They, they write a fake, they write, she's able, they established earlier that she's able to mimic anyone's handwriting. So mm -hmm. she writes a fake suicide note and then it just, it just runs off. And uh, what really happens, and this is when the, satire is there or the the farce as you put it but it's turned up to 11 especially mm -hmm. with the teachers and yes. the principal it's just like oh my, oh my god, god wait, what are we going to tell people you know is this the one um it's like well no she was very popular it's like is this the one the cheerleader no 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 mm -hmm. that's heather mcnamara ah damn i would have gone half day for a yeah, cheerleader. cheerleader yeah and they debate and then there's the like uh the there's hippie. the touchy-feely uh teacher who wants like everyone would to get together and talk about their feelings mm -hmm. and um which if she ever tried to do that, I would, any team. No, but that's actually very, I mean, now that's very common. Not We in, didn't do it then. Not No, not in a, um, any teenager, let's all get together in a yeah. group and talk about our feelings. First of all, no go there. That's a no go now. Talking about your feelings is one well, thing. at least they have talk, like grief counseling now. Well, no, talking about your feelings in a gigantic group setting, let's all get together. With it as, yeah, as yeah. a teenager, it's yeah. terrifying. We had actually. No, not yeah. great. The other thing is we actually had, we had a, su we had at least, we had at least one suicide every single year I was in high school. I think I remember. Three of them were by two of them were by train possibly oh third. good lord i i'm i'm aware of one suicide mm -hmm. but they were a class earlier than mine yeah there was only one that was in my actual class class but i mean mm -hmm. i went to a school of 350 people it's not like i didn't know who it was oh well so that's the one i was aware of and i can't even remember i remember it was a female yeah and also i don't really pay that close attention yeah also, I mean, it was. I was weird. really into myself, but they didn't give us any time off either. Like they literally were like, "This is uh, going to okay. sound harsh." Yeah. Why would they? I mean, the people involved, like the friends, yes, but the whole school. I don't get that. Well, when you find when you're like in school and mm -hmm. you just have found out, it's like one in the afternoon, and you've just found out that that like, a classmate that isn't even in my class has committed suicide yeah nope that's not really 
I mean, what are you going to do? You're just like, uh, I mean, you know them and you're a teenager. I don't. That's the whole thing is that we were. Well, you do know them because they went to school with you. I don't, I didn't know everyone that I went to school with. My graduating class was 500 and, and the freshman class was like at least 2000. Oh, wow. So my graduating class was like 375. Your graduating class. How yeah. big was your school? Uh, that was the four years so it's like times it was around times no no no. i get that but when you're seniors you also have freshmen yeah so how many people are occupying yeah whatever three four hundred times so we're talking like maybe three thousand four thousand people anyway i'm not a grief counselor i just found it very upsetting when it happened because i did you know know pretty much all of them well ryan could tell you about his graduating class uh, one of the girls, she was sent home because of her shoes. They were platforms. Ugh. And she was sent home. And when she was driving back, she got into a car accident and died. Mm. Yeah. And I, I want to say that they did not cancel school because of that. But there was talk. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I was like, if we see people like, yeah, they, have, you know. Oh, and for the counseling. record, we were the smaller school in town. Oh, my God. So. Sorry. Where did you go to school again? Uh, I went to West Windsor Plainsboro High School. In New Jersey? In New Jersey. Go Pirates. Okay. Well, California, we got yeah, lots yeah. of people. I mean, we're like just, yeah, it's a very populated state, but since it's so close together, but that's you why have one school. But that's why also that whole like, oh my God, did you hear about the new kid? Was always just like, how the hell do you know yeah, about how the, did new you know the new kid? the new kid? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we, I mean, you're right. Like, but, but regardless, so, um, there we were. Also, I now know how schools work. And if you shut down a school, you are losing money. That's true. Lots of, all lots right. Of all right. Money. So anyway, um, uh, so <laughs> Heather's, I don't know. This is like the, <laughs> the uh, you know, we do this a lot. We just happen to, you know, also talk about the movie. Yeah. Um, th- this one's particularly random. Um, so we're, so did you like, I mean, did you enjoy this movie? Like, did re-watching everybody or watching? watching it? Well, I'll get to rewatching in a minute, but like when you... Well, at the time, it. no, it, I liked it a lot. Of course, there's just so much to be bonded with the whole like, oh God, it's so nice to see. It, it's revenge fantasy. Totally. Who doesn't enjoy revenge? Well, okay, adjusted people don't need revenge fantasies. But I'm sure at one point everyone has this some. This is a cult classic, so I'm sure there's a lot. There's uh, clearly people do. Well, well, the difference between you know watching somebody like okay, the idea of JD shooting the two jocks with blanks and knowing that they crapped themselves, yeah. it sounds hilarious. And in in my head, it's just like eh, you know. But ultimately, you want to see some other different kind of come up yeah. instead of that because because that it it's, was it, really awful and then they had like the uh, at the the funeral the two jocks they had the little sister that was the other one That's i love my bad. dead gay son i love my dead gay son i love my dead gay son was the other thing that my friends and i would mm-hmm. quote all the time yeah it's just like that. when you know conversation was at a lull yeah so and then you see the sister it was like yeah, the I mean, little she, sister who has who, like, no idea. I was like, but the the, I mean, they they really this is where they get really farcic because the the things that people say about um you know at, at the funeral those scenes the if you're priest. gonna watch none uh, like if you're just gonna watch clips the, all the funeral clips are like d- dead great and I, I'm not gonna do them justice yeah and plus they're long um, hold on Eskimo there I yeah. did I did one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I found out. So, uh, uh, one her of soul the, was in Antarctica. Antarctica. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, but the uh, at one like the, at one point they 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 basically try to make the 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 murder of the two jocks um, a, a suicide pact. They were just so in love and they couldn't talk about their feelings. Yes. And at one point, so they tried to Even like the suicide note set, was beautiful. It was so great. Like them writing the suicide notes is great. Cause at one point um, they debate whether or not uh, the uh, a use of, of a word oh. that she got wrong. And she's like, she, so uh, Veronica says she would never use that word because, oh, okay. because she got it wrong in vocabulary test. And he, and he's like, exactly. He's like, That's exactly. just another one of the failures of her life. And then they mention it. And then one of the teachers after hearing about her death says, I was impressed. excellent use, use of, of the... that word. But okay, now I'm spacing on the word. Oh, myriad myriad, which is a great word. Uh, we'll see. There's that. And, but no, I was actually referring to Veronica writing the suicide note for the two. Oh jocks, my God. Yeah. Talking about how, you know, our forbidden, love and how we had to put up this facade of of um of something something 
assholes. Yeah, basically Damn these it. like I don't jock, the jock assholes. I was I was not anticipating quoting this, so of course <laughs> I'm <not laughs> it. wasn't ready for this. No, I wasn't. So um, if I may, just yes. really quick in my mm-hmm. rewatching after a whole blank slate of not watching it for all yeah. these years, the first thing I wrote down was just there was instant pain the second they did that prank on martha in the very very beginning i know i know so much i know and more more yeah and 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 even the pain of watching that Mm -hmm. uh of remembering watching it when i was younger it just i i didn't even think about it too much and again I, I would come in when Heather was already dead. So I didn't realize, you know, the whole big thing was there. Yeah. But in a weird way, it's more upsetting rewatching it. Of course it is, especially since we now have... It brings up a lot of feelings. Well, tons of feelings <laughs> in the beginning, but also the adult lens. The conversation mm-hmm. she has between her parents. Um, first of all, the repeat conversations are fantastic. But yeah. what I really appreciate is the fact that Veronica's starting to lose it because now suicide is just like this trendy popular thing that people want to do now and it's it's on the news because her teacher with her feeling crusade is getting media attention. Well she yeah, who which she requested. That's like the great thing. She, yeah, yeah. Which is even worse. Yeah. And so gross. what's and then gr- she's like, this crew happened to come by and capture it. And what I think is really funny actually no 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 at the time it's just like, you know, the the the, the crews are here, lock your paws. Mm-hmm. You know, we're all going to, you know, uh, but when they're, her parents are watching it, I love the fact that it's the absolute um, parents just don't get it situation yeah. combined with the fact she's like, you know, all we want to do is just like, you know, be treated like human beings, mm-hmm. you know, not, you know, talk down to. But my favorite line was just or being patronized like bunny rabbits and her father yeah. chimes in. I don't, I never pay, patronize, I don't patronize bunny, bunny rabbits. rabbits. I love that a lot. But, but I love in addition to that, and this is the adult yeah. me now watching this, her having her self-righteous speech and her mother coming back with, excuse me, little miss voice of a generation. Yeah. Usually when teenagers complain about wanting to be treated like human beings, it's because they are being treated like human beings. And I'm just like... I'm I'm back. And she said at the the she began by saying, "How do you think adults interact with each other?" Sit up straight. Yeah, <laughs> she does that. And I and again, like as as an adult, I had the same reaction because I don't remember that mm-hmm. at all. I remember the bunny rabbit. Like I don't patronize bunny rabbits. I forgot um, that, and it just it. it but I, I was tickled. But I don't remember her. I remember the sense of like, oh, this is such a typical thing that like a conversation I'd have with my parents. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, not my, like my father probably would have said the patronizing bunny wraps thing as a joke, but like he, um, uh, but like my mom saying stuff like that, I was like, oh my God, it's like this movie gets it all so right. And, but now watching it, I was like, this is the most brilliant scene. Like it's, if that, it makes the movie, you know, just that much more ridiculous yeah and then she goes would you like some pate <laughs> which was our other line that we would constantly like some, whenever yeah. whenever we'd go like go to especially uh, uh these uh my friend rusty and um and another uh my friend sean she goes we'd like go to each other's house and be like would you like some pate um great pate but i got a motor if i yeah. want to make that funeral yeah <laughs> um no so pate. yeah, I don't know. Um, one of the so yeah, we'll this really is a harder thing to, to it, it yeah. really is to dissect this particular yeah. movie because there's so much going on here, and of course it's really. I mean, I know all the movies we've been watching where the romance is so thin, we managed to f- extrapolate more than there actually was. This one is one where it's just like, well, no, this is not about Veronica and mm-hmm. JD. It is, but it isn't. But, but it is, is also like why I wanted to talk about it is because it is really about it's a it is about my experience of romance in as a teenager like the mutual thing hatred? i found the mutual hatred okay the like over like despite myself like having these feelings for someone and you know she says at one point i can't control you know myself yeah and, yeah yeah which is very insightful yeah and just like and 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 this idea too that you've like it's not you know the thing that makes it so powerful is that it's not that you know, these are not things that you don't want. Mm. Like you want some of it. Mm. And then suddenly you're, you know, you're, it's, you're like, oh wait, I hate that music or I hate doing this thing or I don't want to just, you know, hang out in your room or you like, you know, and watch you play, you know, video games or I I don't want to. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, I don't know, just like all, all these things. And so that to me was also part of, so that's actually why I also wanted to watch it. One of the frustrating parts about the mm -hmm. IMDb's, if you like this movie, you'll also like, it's like Heather's, you'll also like The Breakfast Club and yeah. Pretty in Pink. And I'm just like, not... and I'm like no, just because they're in yeah. high school, that doesn't make it the same thing. But it, it sadly got clustered in with the rest of it. Yeah. You watch all those like yeah. late 80s. Yeah. It's, the, it's teen about movies. the teenagers. So yeah. yeah. And, and movies about teenagers were few and far between. I mean, my dad really liked this movie, well, which this, makes sense. It's an interesting movie. Yeah. Um, um, and I, what I didn't like about the 20th anniversary and my mom actually liked this version saying mm -hmm. one of the critics said, you know, without Heather's, there'd be no mean girls. There'd be no Juno. And I'm like, this is the strangest connection I've ever heard. I understand the yeah. mean girls part, but I think it's this thing of, of not having teenage, like of this sort of having sort of high school farces, maybe. I, I'm not so sure about that, but the thing but is, I don't is know that, if I, but I will mean say girls yeah. will exist no matter what. Well, mean girls though, uh, the writer of. Uh, you know, mentioned that that she was inspired by Heather's. Of course, so. that, of course, that's the case. But, but everyone was inspired by Heather's. It, when it's the only one, yeah, you you got to go with. Well, it. we got we had Better Off Dead is sort of in a a similar vein actually. Didn't it doesn't have any mean. No, no, but it's it's a it's sort of a far it's sort of using important. high school to say things about culture. But important question, and it's really dark. As an adult, is there anyone you're rooting for in this movie? I'm rooting for sanity. No. Okay. I'm rooting for the sister of like the dead, you know, oh. the dead gay well, son. That, well, that's my point though. You said better off dead. I'm at least rooting for somebody in better off dead. In this mm -hmm. movie as an adult, I am not rooting for anyone. I guess like, yeah, to me, like it's the farcical aspects of it that make it kind of it's more like, maybe like that. It's more like I'm hoping for the best by the time this movie is yes. over. Yes. But I guess, like, to me, it's a different... Like, my point is, I totally agree with you. Okay, good. But it's a totally we different conversation. Yes, okay. we can totally <laughs> still be friends. We can bond ourselves our mutual hatred of every single character in this movie. So this is... this is So you, we have that and our breakdowns. Do you... We have to now massage yes. our things. Is oh, there, did you get through all your I, uh, all, all of my four sentences? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, good. All of them. <laughs> There's not much. Although, okay, fine. How dare you? Mean girls right there. But mm. for me, Heathers... Do you, you ever mm -hmm. watch Daria? Yes. The fashion club? Yes. That pretty much the same thing. Yeah. I can, you know, of my few impressions yeah. with my Nicolas Cage, I, I would do a, a halfway decent Sandy from the fashion club. <laughs> Gee, Quinn. <laughs> I didn't realize that you, uh, I can't even think of a good line. No, that's okay. Anyway, watch Daria. It's really oh, fun. So good. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, Did they fall in love? No. I don't think so either. No. When has she been officially enthralled by him, we'll say? Oh, I'm going to say the first... I'm going to say when she first sees him and walks up to him and asks him the quiz question. That's when she's first enthralled yeah, with him? Yeah, they do a lunch, lunch poll. Lunch time poll. I'm going to say for... Her, it was when she saw him before going to the the college party, mm -hmm. and for him, it's when he came to get her after that whole double date thing, where horrible dark scene. Spoiler alert: you're seeing her, her friend getting date raped in the background. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, which she was like kind of cool with. After she's not. Cool. I mean, she's not cool with it. She's just trying to get she the hell just, away. She said, but then she. Oh, well, I mean, no, I'm. I don't mean the Veronica character. She's oh, yeah. super disturbed. Yes. But the then it's sort of, um, which of course I notice now, and I don't think I noticed then. Like I didn't think of. I was like, oh, horrible, horrible night. You know, mm -hmm. like bad night, yeah. bad date. Yeah. Um. She was like, oh yeah, well we had, you know, like the uh cheer heather oh oh yeah she's, she's, just, she's like, just like she's... oh yeah yeah well that's like the last time you know last, last guy time had sex, let, the last sex guy up. had sex with not like the last guy who date raped me mm -hmm. um but it but to her it's like a weird it, I, it's meant to be like a validation I, that's just so hard to even talk about right now yeah in general because because the focus is is that there are assholes that go cow tipping mm -hmm. and date rape yeah, it's even mentioned in a different part. You know, after yeah. after the yeah. the fake suicide, they're like, "Well, what they're gonna do? Just a lifetime date rape and and age, age jokes. jokes?" Yeah, um, and nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, friends. and and oh, and mineral water. Oh my god, the mineral water bit is so great. They basically they 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 think of the all these homosexual things to paraphernalia. The homosexual paraphernalia is I'm so it great. With air quotes. Yes, yeah. because uh, one of the friends that I watched this with uh, mm -hmm. had come up had 
Joan um, Crawford years. poster. The Joan Crawford poster was great. Uh, uh, postcard. Uh, sorry, uh, and sorry. then, you know, a, 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 a obviously some some gay porn um, in magazine form because that's how we puppy. can... That's how we consumed our, that's how we consumed our porn. Mascara. Uh, yeah, mascara. Um, right. And. Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah. it's. it's and, but, the, but then he's like mineral water and she questions the mineral water. She's like, no, lots of people are drinking mineral water these days. And she he goes, it's Ohio. And then, um, uh, and then, and then wall, later please? on, yeah, <laughs> now, but then, and that's what I kept thinking of it. That was funny yeah, yeah. is like, it, but then when the cops come, they're like, oh, don't worry about the gun. We now know the story. And they go mineral water. And the other cop goes like, yeah, he says, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, so they're okay. So, <laughs> so, Case so, closed. <laughs> Which is so All funny because right. he lifts so the gun up like he's yeah. going to check for prints. And then it's exactly. just like, oh, not Oh, yeah, go the middle. Well, yeah, that's, that's evidence. Okay, so he's enthralled with her when mm-hmm. she when he comes to get her from the date. I think she's enthralled with oh, him. Oh, really? Okay. I think it's another, yeah. Uh, because he was just so pissed before. She's like, another damn Heather. And when she said no, he's just like, okay, this one. You know? Mm-hmm. I think that's his moment because I think he like he saw the potential. And then when yeah. she just realized, no, I, I, I want no part of this anymore. And then I think that was his moment of to take her all the way through to the next level of his weird, sadistic, what have you. Um, did I mention for her? It was, yeah, the Remington party. So I think that's their, that's their teenage, this one moment. Mm. And you notice how quickly that yep. disintegrated. Yeah, totally. Which is after this, the third murder. Yeah. <laughs> so. Which was perfect for me at the time. I was feeling very bitter about love. Well... You, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all right. I don't even know what to say about that. I was well, just trying to bring it back to the movie. I'm, I'm just like, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, this movie is about being bitter about love. So, okay, I think is that it? they fell in love. Uh, yeah. This well, it's about, about being a lot, a lot about being bitter. Period. Full oh, stop. This, oh yeah. So, okay. <laughs> uh, we. Uh, I think that they, she. Uh, the minute she sees him, I think it's an instant. You know, like he's the only person in the room moment. And yep. then when she yeah, come, goes up to him, yeah, he's super hot I and know. he's dark and mysterious. There it is. He's dark and mysterious. He's dark and mysterious. He's got floppy hair. Oh, wait, that's me. Sorry. I'm t- I can just t- stop injecting myself. I didn't think it was that, that floppy. Movie. What? I didn't think it was that floppy. It was like the good kind, you know, like. It sure wasn't the. Um, shell. It floppy. sure wasn't the, the jacket that did it for Oh, you. it was the jacket too. Oh, it was the whole package. He's got it all. And that's he has it. smirk. I mean, it was just good. Sexy smart. He, um, and then when she asked him the question, he had just had a really good answer. Right. And they just bonded instantly. And then I think it really wasn't. It was, but it wasn't. Yeah. It was, it was the teenage, like. Of course. Yeah. How very. Yeah. How very. (laughs) Yeah. But I think for him, when he's like, oh, she's game is when, is, is when they, he sees her, uh, uh, before he sees her at the, uh, convenience store. Mm Mm-hmm. And she says, you can buy me a slushie. And he's like, oh, she's not just a, mm. like, she's got, and they have a, a conversation about how she's, she's like, oh, I don't really like my friends. Yeah. And he's like, I don't like your friends either. Sure. So I think that's where uh, it was. But clearly, um, I don't really think he is capable of love. So I'm going to say that, no, they did not fall in love because no. he's a sociopath. Yep. Um, and so All is his respect father. All due respect to sociopaths. Oh, oh. Pff. I mean, would we say psychopath? No, I think he's a sociopath. Can you be both? Isn't sociopathy a type of psychopathy? I mean, it's like psychopath. I thought is a to me. I I thought it's sort of like like a uh, square is a you know a rectangle kind of thing. Um, So like it's a a psychopath is the uh, is the kind of to people with more knowledge than myself. Please let us know it. Please somebody somebody who actually knows something about these things and doesn't just hear these terms on NPR and John Ross and and John Ronson audiobooks. I just want to make sure that I'm not pretending to know what I'm talking about. Uh, just a plug for John Rawson's the the sociopath test, which is fantastic. I swear, if you're getting sponsorship money and not telling, I am not. Oh okay. God, if John Ronson even like contacted me, I would I would lose it. And you talk about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I would actually tweet at some somebody. So Pauline and I are both of the at opinion Analog. that this movie is not quite in the love spectrum yes, of our typical yeah. other movies. So there we go. But I do have a good, que- I do have a question. How do you want to play the, the what happens? Question? Yeah. What happens? I have an idea. Oh, well then by all means. So I think, mm-hmm. and this is, 
please feel free to to disagree if you have another idea. I, I say will. we say what happens to uh, what happens to Veronica, mm -hmm. uh, and what happens to uh, uh, I. We could we could do sheer cheer Heather, but I'm actually more interested in finding out what happens to uh, Doherty Heather. Oh right, because she uh, she kind of. Uh, she tries to become the like the the alpha Heather and uh, but doesn't really seem to protest when um, it gets taken away from her. And perhaps um, I not sure. Uh, perhaps the uh, Carrie Lynn as uh, the sorry, Martha. Oh, played uh, by Carrie Lynn. Martha Dunstock. Yeah, there's actually a well, we could just keep it to the two Heathers. Well, well. There's two Heathers, and then there's... Because well, we know what happens to Jason. He blows himself up. Yep. Yeah. So there's not... They're not going to have kids. I'm just going to put it that way. No, they're not. No, they're no. really not. No, I'm not even going to try a joke response to that. Um. Okay, so here's what's kind of strange, is that in this particular world, the police investigations are minimal. I like to believe that there's going to be <laughs> yes, a... They, involve, they don't involve actual forensics, but, you know, maybe I watch too much CSI. Such, but the mineral water is really the thing that cracks the case wide open. Not even the mineral water. Okay, well, just... Uh, okay, so JD is going to, like, blow himself up in front of it. You know what I think is kind of weird is that how is all of this going to come to fruition? Is his father going to try to exact some sort of revenge out of all of this? Oh, I didn't even think of that. I didn't either until just this moment. I yeah. But I can see him having just like this not connection to his son and not being all that big of a, a deal for him. So I'm going to presume new because I didn't think that far ahead and it's not that interesting. <laughs> What's really weird about Veronica is like I'm debating whether or not she will get arrested because, you know, a giant yeah, yeah. explosion happened and then she just kind of wanders back into the school. Like, hey, there was a giant explosion. All right, and why does she have a gun? Everyone back oh, to I class. Oh, I guess he had a gun. So, well, yeah. Everyone well, back. it's that school. Well, so she's smoking on on school grounds, and that's just that can't be good. Well, you had so no, when, I'm joking. In high school, we actually had a smoking area. You well, were actually allowed to smoke at the school. It's a joke. They're focusing was I being on, literal? Again? Yeah, no, again, it's it's focusing on the fact that she's smoking on campus yeah. rather than that she's got a you know yeah like exactly like an explosion. Yeah. Stuff. Here's what's gonna happen. Okay, Veronica is going to attempt to be friends with Martha. There's actually um, a, a version of the script where she was going to die at the end of this movie. Yeah. No, 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 not not that one. There's this one where she actually follows through with it, and the whole school blows up. Mm -hmm. There's this other one where I guess she uh, stops JD, but it's Martha who stabs her and calls her, you know, die, Heather, die. And she, uh. she actually dies saying, my name is Veronica, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is actually kind of an interesting poetic justice. But mm -hmm. also in addition to the, the dark theme that sometimes you just push people too far. And it is interesting because now you're having somebody exacting revenge as well, but it's coming from the other side, which is really interesting. Um, but of course, they can't have the two too dark ending. You have to have Veronica yeah. um, trying to make friends. But why is it that she feels the need to be friends with Martha? I mean, because she, she's like, it's a there's a new sheriff in town, and I am going to change the script. But is she really in a position of power to, to do that, considering that she was part of the Heather clique, but she wasn't the alpha? Well, but she took the alpha, the 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 she, scrunchie. She took the scrunchie. You really think it's the scrunchie? It's it, well, it? it's it's that's this is the thing about power, right? I mean, it's the half of it is oh, is you know, that we believe the person in power no, is the one in power. You want to know what I think it is? I think it's very possible that because she took the scrunchie away from from Shannon Doherty's Heather, I think she managed to actually get into her head. So instead mm. of Veronica believing that there's power to it, she's banking on the fact that Heather thinks that there's power in it. And so she's actually like gotten into her head. Yeah. So. And and everyone else believes. So mm -hmm. it's like, so I think, I, I mean, I agree. Like there's something kind of certain about the end of it. I get where it was basically like the, like the happy ending for me is not that she didn't die or that the school didn't blow up oh no That's it's just a that it's that she is now going to be a heather who flips the script and is like we're not going to be popularity is not going to be based on meanness anymore i think it's not it's a farce i don't think that works well, I don't think it works because I don't it's think that's too that, satisfying. Well, I also don't think that's what she's going to do. I think she's going to watch Heather continue 
And she's going to keep being popular and she's going to get the admiration of the people who are left in school. But, oh God, this is way too real. I think the satisfaction is going to be coming in the fact that she's free of it. Mm -hmm. So the popularity is no longer important to her anymore. So she's going to be friends with Martha. She's going to become friends with Betty again. She's going to go back to her studies and she's going to find fulfillment in friendships mm -hmm. and in the future because I'm well she's able to pass all of her classes she still has the potential to be valedictorian because if she's mm. able to just get away with her classes yeah and get it done I bet you she could actually take it to the next level mm -hmm. and actually start using oh, her yeah. supposed gene genius level IQ um so my theory with her is that basically her parents are going to send her to are going to freak out because there, there's going to be some evidence of, of the fact that she was involved with this Even guy. if there is, I'm not sure anything's going to come of it. Well, I mean, it may not be legal, right? But what their parents are going to kind of freak out, uh, you know, based on this. And the, I mean, around this time, there was a lot of focus on teen suicide. Like, like that's why the whole, you know, the, that song was at the time so hysterical because it was like, there was the, you know, just say no to drug thing and then there was this focus on teen suicide and then of course like the minute we got taught about sex we got taught about you know the fact that it was going to kill us and we're going to die of aids wait what yeah crap yeah our sex education was real cheerful um teenage sex, sex. Don't, don't do it. it no ours was 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 you're going to do it and it's going to kill you. And if you don't use a condom, it will actually kill you. They, no, really, these people look at the pictures of these people. No, they have that in Mean Girls. Yeah, with the I sex, know. the sex ed thing, yep. and it still makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. it's don't awful. have sex because you will get chlamydia and mm -hmm. die. Yeah, no, we were like, you will get AIDS and die. Look at these people. It no. wasn't chlamydia, sadly. It was act. It, anyway, it was it's terrifying. Um, uh, which was good actually, because there was we were able to like in a way, I mean, terrifying, but you know, there was, a, there was definitely a reduction in, um, you know, AIDS transmission in our generation. So go, um, scary sex ed. Hemecast um, does not endorse the idea that scaring people into not having sex is the adequate way to not spread disease. Yeah. I don't think it's a really good idea, but I uh, can't, can't, can't argue with success. Yeah, no, it, it, it's You can terrifying. argue with success. <laughs> let's I'm argue, arguing Let's right actually argue with now. Success. Okay. So in the bonus feature of our podcast, we discuss, um, don't promise the people something that we're not <laughs> going to deliver. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So this is what's going to happen to her. They're going to send her to uh, a boarding school, mm -hmm. uh, uh, probably an all girl boarding school. She is going to, uh, she's going to meet lots of other, uh, girls who are, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, who are really, 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 really smart, really, really literate. Mm -hmm. Um, she is going to, uh, she's obviously a writer, um, not, but not a fiction writer. So I think what's going to happen is she's going to go to Columbia cause her parents want, she's going to, um, probably around this time she'll discover interview magazine um andy warhol's interview magazine which was fantastic and uh want to move to new york um she will get accepted to columbia because her parents will want her to go to a to sort of an ivy league -ish school mm -hmm. she will uh and she will then uh transfer to nyu and she will become a woman's studies uh a very well-known uh woman's studies uh professor question and and writer and uh sort of public intellectual question is she going to columbia graduating and then going to nyu no she's going to transfer to nyu uh it's probably the middle of her sophomore year in, okay. because they have a better program uh, okay good to know because and, uh, I, I think she's going to think that that those are going to be her people and she's going to uh and then she's going to teach at the at, at, at the new school, mm. and she's going to become a public intellectual. Oh, I see. So okay. I think that's how it's going to go down. I didn't get past high school with my mm -hmm. explanation. Uh, she's going to make friends with people in the high school who aren't the popular people. Mm -hmm. She's also going to go off to college and, and, and leave, and then those friendships are going to kind yeah. of dwindle. And she'll always have that like that bad feeling to it, but she'll be at peace with it. See, I think she's not going to be friends. I mean, I think her no, and Marta are going to be um Martha. Uh, Martha. Martha. Yep. Mar Martha. I'm just trying really hard not to call her Martha Dump Truck. Yes. When, and you've done an admirable job, except for just now. Well, <laughs> well no, I, I need people um, to know who yeah. we're actually talking about. No, no, about. you're right. Yeah. Uh, I felt lucky that my my parent, my dad, so easy to be called reject. And I didn't get that until, oh, I didn't get that really? until like eighth grade. And someone wasn't even saying it jokingly. They were saying it just like, oh, kind of like reject. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And? Oh, God, I just, ugh. 
Never saw that. So many, oh, so much teasing. Anyway, okay. Yep. So, um, not a podcast about my trauma. Um, yes, it is. <laughs> I guess it kind of is. Oh, oh look. Yes. How listening? convenient for me. Um, uh, mm. do, I, I mean, do we want to talk about anyone else? Or should well, we there's, like... There's no relationship yeah. to say that, that broken up. I I honestly don't do think that she's... Do we want to talk about Marta? Or do we just want to... Well, I think Veronica's kind of... Well, no. Way. I don't think Veronica's going to get prosecuted. I no. don't think the friendships that she's going to forge in the last years of her high school, which she'll still be at, will... Um, will survive you know no, no. high school relationships kind of go away well, especially in my world she just she goes to uh yeah she goes yeah. to boarding school so she hardly ever sees those people ever again whereas i think she is going to just go into college and focus yeah because now's the time to focus oh, so you think she's going to graduate early i think so i think mm. so yeah I, in fact if anything but she would have had to start preparing oh, that actually makes sense because she would have to start preparing for that in her junior year yep and it can be done, and there's always the taking the classes in the summertime. Yeah, while that's my my yeah. my closest friend graduated early, which was hard. Made my senior year very very sad. Mm, sorry. Yeah. Aww. Or one of my closest friends, Kyle. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. All right. So uh, life lessons here. Um, don't do don't it. Don't do it. It's teenage suicide. Don't do it. And also sex that involves diseases. Uh, yeah, or just, you know, use a condom. Just be responsible. That's all we ask. Game Don't Cast be... does not endorse various disease spreading. No, we're not, no. Of any kind, what, really. What happened? What What's going on right I now? I don't know. It's, we've gone to, it's, I think cocktail, I think the combo of cocktail and Heather's, the, um, We've become very cynical. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we just, we, I think our next movie is going to have to like lighten it up. Uh, you know what? I think you're right. Yeah. I, I believe, well, here, let's, let's get some, uh, the base, let's get the business out of the way first. Let's here. get the business out let's, of the uh, way. Let's, uh, let's, uh, if you really want to talk about our life lessons about mm -hmm. Heather's, um, please, you, please, you must have feelings about this movie. No, talk, talk to Polina. I think I'm, <laughs> she's done. She's no, out. No, I'm good. You can catch us, um, on Twitter. We are at Hemecast. Mm-hmm. Uh, hello, did the thing. H e a m c a s t. <laughs> we're we're on Facebook at Happily Ever Aftermath. Uh, I said it before. I'll say it again. You've got emails you want to send us. It's contact at hemecast dot com. Mm -hmm. um, if you like us, you can subscribe, rate, and yes. review, and have your friends subscribe. We love ratings or and or reviews. You we like love us. our reviews. You we read them over and over again on our dark moments. Okay, you're scaring the uh, okay. I the them. listeners. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're scaring your ho your co-host. I uh, just read them aloud to my husband and go, "Ha ha, you haven't written one yet." <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> and then you get mad because he's not Christian Slater. Yeah, no, I got over that. Oh, a good. Ago. Yeah. Good. Yeah. If you like us, tell a friend. <laughs> <We'll get back laughs> to tell them not to listen to <laughs> and others. we're also on spotify and yes. youtube and then the regular the apple the podcast apple, the, the and the google itunes play, and the google and play the and then we have an rss feed so you can catch us yep. you can stick us in whatever podcatcher you like yeah there's there's a lot out there and it's actually quite easy to transfer your podcast so i highly recommend if you uh find po podcast listening frustrating and find another one there's a bunch yay yeah is that us i think that's us <laughs> oh okay you're you're endorsing us right mm -hmm. okay so next time around um i want to go with something a little bit more romantical oh good oh thank god yes. but i'm not sure how you'll feel about it because um it is oh crap i don't have the year but it um it's sabrina the remake oh, the remake the remake i might make you watch the other one you can't make me do anything that's true actually it's true you can make me do stuff but i can't make you do stuff um uh i just want to do a quick shout out to uh to katie uh welcome and um thanks for listening oh um, that's, that's very, very nice yeah i like that oh yeah so we're going from heathers to sabrina heathers to sabrina i believe it's 1995 harrison, I, the harrison ford I julia greg kinnear version I, I think i saw this on a plane so i have so i'm in i'm in i'm happy sweet this is all right. No, thank you. Thank you for shifting this. Oh, whole well. conversation. Oh, I can. I, I have a list. Yeah. Anyway, Heather's actually does stand up. And so if you're uh, so watch it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th there is a lot of moments, you know, where you just go like, ooh, oh, yeah. but it is really funny. It's, like, it's really, really well written. Yeah. Just to shift your thinking. And yeah. there's a lot to enjoy. Anyway. All right. All right. Thank well, you. Well, I will we'll see you next time. Right. Take care. Bye bye. 
Hi, this is Nikki. And Rosanna. Do you like trivia, quiz shows, learning new things about history, science, and pop culture? We host a podcast called Six Degrees of Wiki that has all that. During each 30-minute episode, one sister leads the other down an exciting Wikipedia spiral to find the six degrees of separation between two seemingly unrelated Wikipedia articles. The other sister attempts to guess what the next degree is during every round. And she's usually wrong. Hey! So listen to find out whether or not the Loch Ness Monster is real. You can also pick up 10,000 years of English history in just four minutes. Here's an interesting fact. People that listen to our podcast are 85% more likely to beat their friends and family at Jeopardy and sound smart at parties. Is that true? Sure it is. So get in on that sweet, sweet brainy action and listen to Six Degrees of Wiki every Monday.